Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Pretty happy. Come on, England. Sorry to all my Swedish fans out there. Um, but yeah, let's crack on with this one. I found it's, it's been baking hot the last, it's been hot for the last couple of weeks, but the last two days, for here on the coast, on the coast, Joe, um, it's been absolutely sweltering. Um, and I fancy there's something kind of to match the weather a little bit. Um, and I've been getting more into this style recent, well, the last couple of years. Anyway, this is from Time and Tide. And this is Echo Dry Hopped Saison 5.9% ABV. Um, it's, it's a breaded Saison Dry Hopped with Vic Secret Wymea. Why always Wymea? And Equinot Hops. Um, so Wymea, they're a New Zealand hop variety. This is a 375ml bottle. Um, Thank you to my good friend Simon for giving me this beer. Um, lives locally to me. Uh, yeah, really appreciate it. Um, I've had this since last year sometime, so I've had it a fair while. Um, it's one of them larger kind of, I don't want to tilt it too much because of the style, but one of them larger type uh, gold top. Um, beer, beer caps, beer. All right, let's crack this open. It might take a little bit longer. Hopefully it won't go everywhere. It's been in the fridge, so I'm getting aromas already. There we go. Didn't go everywhere. It's still fizzing up though, look at that. And it's still going. So I'm gonna get the glass ready. And it's just about like a volcano. Is it gonna go? We don't know. My time and tight glass. Thank you again to the brewery. And there's a lot of sediment in this. It's lively. So I'm going to let that settle down a little bit. Beer in a glass then. Um, it's kind of a, a, a deep kind of um, orangey marmalade jam, that kind of thing. Um, it didn't produce much of a head, I, didn't, I was pouring it really gentle. But you can see because it's so warm it's steaming the glass up. And this beer is straight out of the fridge, so it gives you an idea of what what's going on here. I've got the window open, you can all probably hear seagulls and stuff outside and people screaming like normal. But um, yeah, let's give this a swirl and a sniff. And the first thing you're picking up is that yeast, that kind of Brettomyces type aroma. It's a bit... A bit perfumey, um, although this beer is is cold, it's it's got quite an aroma on it for being at this temperature, and it's really steaming the glass up. And I'm getting like a uh, almost like a pickled egg kind of pickled egg, pickled uh, pickled onion kind of that kind of thing. Sweaty, some real kind of strong kind of Edam cheese, that kind of thing. But yeah, real perfumey, almost slightly medical, a medical kind of box, like maybe. Yeah, I don't know, we'll just go into it and see what we get on the taste and I'll try and find the word. Anyway, cheers. It's bubbling on the palate, just bubbling. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit cough medicine-y. Not in a bad way, of course, but that mingled in with that kind of perfumey aroma. It's that kind of thing. There is that breath that you can't get away from. It's really kind of quite potent in this one. So just as well this beer has been in the fridge for the last probably year or so, because either it hadn't have gone off in the cupboard, exploded, and I'd have opened it now, it would have exploded completely, I'm sure of it. It's had a long time in the fridge, but 
two or three degrees, whatever. Just as well because there is a lot of sediment in this and there's quite a bit of carbonation you saw coming up the neck of the bowl, so it would have gone mental, I'm sure of it. Slightly, yeah, that's cheese, cheese and onion. But we're, it's got a real kind of body to the beer. I, mean, I haven't had a, a decent Saison for a while. Probably since, funnily enough, when me, Simon and a few others got together in February, I think it was. Early February and we had, we had some world class beers in one night. It was just, it was awesome. I'd like to do that again. But this is probably one of the best Saisons. I've had a few kind of Saisons. Are they Saisons? Aren't they? Um, more of session style Saisons. This is a little bit more, I mean I'm probably talking rubbish like I normally am, but I look at around about 6-7% mark, although you can get some amazing Saisons with lower ABV I know, but this is really kind of, I don't know what I'm trying to say, this is one of them beers that you can tell the quality is there, it's been lifted. Whether it's the ABV giving it a little bit more, a bit more, more that kind of malt quality, the Brettomyces yeast, um, I don't know, but this is absolutely fantastic. It's a great beer for a heat wave, which we're having now. Just going to go and watch the second half of Russia against Croatia, so by the time you see this you already know, um, but I'm going to post this before Wednesday. Um, the semi-final of course so uh, yeah I was 11 years old when we last played in the last semi-final so yeah and I'm old so there you go yeah this is just a fantastic beer one more sit then I'll give it a rating and I'll clear off very smooth mouth the mouthfeel as well is very smooth the body is kind of a, a very kind of I say light, it's more of a medium body, but then the lightness of a, of, a, of a low kind of body, if that makes sense. It's just cracking. It's absolutely cracking. I'll give it one more little pour here. There we go. But yeah, there's lots of sediment in it. I, mean, I don't want to pour it all out straight away. So I'm going to go to downstairs, enjoy this, take my time over it. Um, one more sip then. Glorious, really refreshing. You can, there's a little bit of alcohol in there, but not not enough to make you suggest it's 5.9. It, it tastes more like about five, something like that, just below a five, some you know in that ballpark. But yeah, great beer. In terms of a rating, then I think it's a really nice one. Um, I'm gonna go eight and a half out of ten on this one. I think it's pretty damn good. So 4.25 on the untapped scale. O to untapped and it's only had 247 check-ins two people have had this in the last 30 days and it's only had a total of 210 actual ratings it's coming in at 3.74 which in my book is 7.5 out of 10 I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10 so yeah really good beer um, it's probably around in selective places in East Kent, bottle shop wise. Um, it may be around online, I'm not too sure. If it's on Honest Brew, I know that they've done quite a few of these beers on Honest Brew. If it's on Honest Brew, I'll put the link down below uh, for the page so you can get it yourself. But I'm not sure, 100% on that, so you have to check. If it's not there, it's not there. Anyway, thanks for watching then. Again, apologies to my Swedish viewers, and I'll see you all in the next review. Cheers.